when I heard we were going to have a presentation about marijuana impaired driving, I thought, okay, this is going to be a lecture about how marijuana affects driving, maybe with some PowerPoint slides showing some gory car crashes and information about the law. I was wrong. <laughs> Uh, when I walked into the gym, I saw these big pedal cars and, and a driving course laid out with safety cones that had lights on them. There were lights just like traffic lights, but there were also other colors. When it was my turn to run the course, the instructor explained that the route was a giant figure eight and I would have to follow certain rules of the road. A colored light signal on a cone would tell me the specific action I needed to take. The first time I drove the course without the goggles so I could get used to driving the roadster and become familiar with the light signals. I think I did pretty well. But the second time around, things got interesting. Wearing the Fatal Vision marijuana goggles and driving the Marty course gave me a better idea of how marijuana use can affect driving skills, reaction times, and thought processes. Even though I was driving slower and really trying to concentrate, I made a lot of mistakes. The instructor explained that the marijuana goggles alters our perception of a light's colors to model some of marijuana's effects. But that being high doesn't mean a person isn't able to see color. If I had been behind the wheel in a real car, on a real street, the results could have been tragic. 